Makeup artist James Charles just confronted Tristan, who is a vocal coach here on YouTube, and there's a lot to take away from this, and it wasn't really a confrontation, so sorry for using that language, but there's a lot to take away from this, and I think there's a lot that we can learn from it, too. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you beautiful people improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because what I like to do, I like to pull stuff going on in the YouTube community and pop culture and try to see what we can all learn from it to improve our mental health. So before I jump into this James Charles video, man, I just recorded like an 18 minute long video that was going to be highly edited and I was really excited and amped up to make this like all day and halfway through the video uh my mic stopped working and I'm just like you know what maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow I'll do that video but like you know this has been one of those days you know I'm on uh you know new medication and I think I've been getting a little irritable as the day's gone on and just dealing with traffic here in Vegas and all that kind of stuff and then that but like what we do is and this is just you know a side mental health tip like we just got to kind of go with the flow and a part of me was like forget this I'm just not going to record another video I already did a video this morning but you know with the extra time I do have I want to produce more content so we just got to kind of you know accept things things as they come and adapt and change and just do stuff. You know what I mean? But I hustle as much as possible. So here's another video for you beautiful people. And this is something that people have actually been asking me to do. My girlfriend uh, has been asking me to do it. I think my girlfriend's friend wanted me to do it. There was somebody even in the comments asking me to do it. So here we go. So a little bit of a backstory. James Charles, he is a makeup guru for those of you who don't know, but he also loves to sing. This is something that he likes to do. It's actually something that he was doing long before he did makeup. Well, anyways, he did a cover of Ariana Grande, uh, God is a Woman, all right? Well, there's another YouTuber on the platform named Tristan, and uh, my girlfriend, Tristan, spelled differently, <laughs> she got me into this channel and like we watched him and we watched, watched his reactions and stuff like that and it's really interesting I've always been a fan of obviously music I hate when people are like I really like music it's like who doesn't like music anyways but I've been a fan of that I love like singing competitions and stuff like that but I'm really interested in like the way you can train your voice too like I think for a lot of us or at least me I'm just like oh it's just natural it naturally happens but there's techniques you can use and things like that but anyways this guy Tristan he's been to school for it and everything like that and so he watched the James Charles video and one of the reasons he watched James Charles cover of this is because James Charles was getting a lot of flack for his cover a lot of people coming at him about his cover and everything and James Charles got super defensive. He put up this whole rant up on Snapchat, just losing his mind, just saying this was on pitch and this da, 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 da. So Tristan decided to, you know, watch the video and he critiques it, right? Despite what every single comment may think, there's not a single note in that cover that is wrong. Every single note is perfectly on pitch. There's one that sharp or flat. This is where I've got to stop sister over here. Sister's being a little bit, what's the word? Sister's being delusional as f Well anyways, I thought it was really cool because James replied to him, he was like, hey, come out here and you know give me a vocal lesson you know and i'm like that's awesome like it's cool seeing a larger creator you know uh doing something with a smaller creator and and things like that even though in the grand scheme of things like tristan's channel is way bigger than like somebody like mine but that's besides the point um but anyways i thought that was cool so the, I, i've been waiting for this video and they finally released it it was about what was it like 30 minutes long something like that but anyways <clears throat> what i want to talk about like in the, in the first, like, a lot of this was James Charles talking. It was kind of split up into thirds. Like, there wasn't as much with Tristan that I thought there was going to be. Uh, but anyways, a lot of this was, like, James talking about how, like, singing has just been a passion of his. And he's been... Um, very self-conscious about his singing. He was kind of always in the in the background and he was always getting outshined by his friend and everything like that, and he knows this. So um, I think something that we need to take away from this is like he talks about how he gets naturally defensive. And a lot of times, like when people get defensive, especially YouTubers, especially anybody who creates anything, like I've seen a lot of creators talk about this, like sometimes they get defensive because that thing might be true or it's 
it's right on point with those voices that we have in our head that say these things about us, you know? But James Charles, like, I can really empathize with him because I'm a very defensive person. I'm very defensive. Like, it's crazy. It's one of the reasons so many of my past relationships never worked out. Like, I just could not take criticism. Like, my, my girlfriend and I, Tristan, we've been together for almost, like, two years now, and we've only had, like, two arguments, right, over two years, we have an amazing relationship, and one of them was like me just getting really defensive, you know, and it was completely insane. It's just, I have this brain that has a screwed up mental filter sometimes, and you know, I work a lot on my mental health and things like that, I know a lot of it stems from childhood, but that's part of my mental health is I gotta work on that. Like, you guys, like when I read your comments, like it, you, pfft, Man, if you could see the thoughts going through my head when I read your comments and I gotta sit there, sometimes I have to have other people read it and see what, you know, like what do you think they meant by this, right? Like it's just, it's craziness, this thing's crazy. If you're on my channel right now watching this video and you're a subscriber, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Like if people could see what was going on in this mind, like whoo -hoo 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 -hoo. But anyways, I like understand what James Charles is talking about, but one of my answers for this that helps me with my mental health that I recommend you do is, you know, the practice of mindfulness. Mindfulness is about being very aware and present and things like that. So I notice more often that my brain is doing this, that my brain is getting into defense mode. You know what I'm saying? Because my brain, the way it goes, when it gets into defense mode, it's not usually flight, it's usually fight, right? I used to get into a lot of back and forths online and things like that. Like sometimes if any of you like read the comments, sometimes I'll get into a pretty lengthy debate with somebody in the comments, because part of me is still there, but like I do it in a much more mature way. But anyways, James acknowledged this about himself. You know what I mean? And so he invited Tristan to come out because he knew Tristan was right, that there were things that he needed to work on. And him and Tristan, you know, they uh, they do this whole like vocal lesson and everything like that. He goes back and he uh, tries to redo one of his first covers, which was uh, Chandelier. And like they do that and Tristan's showing him these different techniques and just like the repetitiveness of it and training your tongue to do certain things or your throat or your nose or whatever and like that stuff's all really interesting to me um, I was telling my girlfriend like dang it now I have that song stuck in my head because they go over it and over it and over it and over it and stuff that's much better but anyways at the end of the video um, I really like how James talks about how like you know, there, there's a way to criticize people without like bullying them, if you will. And I, I think that if you're, if you're somebody with clarity, if you're somebody with empathy, like listen to this advice. The reason I say that is because we have a world of online trolls and people are just trying to get a reaction. People are just gonna say terrible things to you. But aside from people getting defensive, I would ask you to be a little bit more mindful of what you are saying and how you're saying it. You know what I mean? So that brings me to the next point. I got this comment right here that was telling me to, you know, do a James Charles video. And, and this comment was telling me basically to talk about how Trist, like uh, James Charles should have never invited him and you know Tristan was being mean to him and things like that. And I'm gonna address that because I actually disagree. Um, the reason I disagree is I, I have trained my mind to look for similarities rather than differences. That's another mental health tip for all of you out there. To look for the similarities rather than the differences, right? So Tristan is a vocal coach. Me, I'm a mental health professional. I've worked in a mental health treatment center, um, primarily specializing in addiction, but also mental illness. And I've been doing that for three years, but going back six years to when I first got clean and sober, I've been working with other addicts and alcoholics, right? So like, I have some experience doing this. And I'll tell you this, one, one thing that, um, uh, maybe I'll put this on a shirt sometime in the merch shop, but I always say this, the best friends that you will have are the ones who tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. 
okay? Now, I will link up a video in the top corner. There was a very short book by Sam Harris called Lying that I recommend all of you read. It is like 40 pages, it is very short, but part of it talks about this. Like, you need people who are going to be honest with you. Like, I can empathize with Tristan in that sense because part of his job is to criticize people and tell them where they need improvement. And it takes a very strong person like James to accept that criticism and know he needs to grow. Like me, I have to talk to people overcoming addictions or struggling with mental health issues and I gotta give them that tough love. I gotta say, listen, you're making excuses. Listen, you are deflecting. Listen, you are not addressing the real issues. I have to tell people a lot of things that they really, really don't wanna hear. Now, a lot of people get defensive about that and stuff. I've had people like straight up cuss me out for the things I've had to tell, tell them. I've had people tell me how much they hate, you know, uh, the treatment center I worked at and things like that. And like a month later or something like that, they come back and they say, thank you. Thank you so much for being hard on me. Thank you for telling me this and stuff. Because they know I'm coming from a good place, you know, because a lot of people, a lot of people surround themselves with enablers. I don't know about James Charles' like friend group, but you look at people like Tana Mojo, FouseyTube, you know, these are people surrounded by yes men and women who are like, yeah, 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 that's great, that's awesome, da, 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 da. And then you as a person, you can never grow if you surround yourself with these people. So while I do think like Tristan did make some com comments in there uh, in his review that were kind of sassy, like, the overall tone of it was Tristan was coming from a good place. You know what I mean? Like sometimes we do shove in some jabs, like none of us are perfect all the time, but sometimes there are some jabs in there and some light poking fun, you know what I mean? But I'm glad James Charles saw past that and he's like, listen, this guy is trying to help me do something that I love. But anyway, so in this video, like, James talks about like, don't be afraid to do something you love because of the criticism. Like, don't be afraid to do that. Like, work through it and learn from it and take the criticisms. Learn how to filter out the, the haters, you know what I mean? I'll link another video up here about how to deal with your haters. I've done something new on Instagram. I haven't posted uh, as many as I could, but I get a ton of haters, right? I get a ton of haters, but like, look at this one right here, all right? All right, cool. Like, I just, I turned it into a funny situation, you know what I mean? Some days I'm able to handle it better than others and stuff like that, but like, I just turned it into a fun situation. I filter out the nonsense, I take the constructive criticism, you know what I mean? I've had some of you say that I talk too fast in my videos. Well, I don't, I don't know. Like, it's something that I try to work on, but I get very passionate and energetic and the caffeine, you know, isn't doing me any favors in that department. But anyways, don't be afraid to do something that you love or are passionate about and like, and like put it out there. You know what I mean? Like, do the thing that you love and don't let anybody stop you. Like, wait for, you know, the, the, the market, if you will, to decide on whether you are good or not. But filter out the haters. Do not focus on only the negative comments. So I'm glad that James made this video. It looks like it was a learning and growing experience for him. I'm glad that he helped out a smaller creator like Tristan, James, hit me up, let's talk about mental health, help me out, I'm a small creator. <laughs> but anyways, um, I would love to know your comments down below, like especially like, let's talk about being defensive. Like are you someone who gets very defensive and how do you work on that? You know, like have there been situations where maybe you get a text, right? Or a DM or a message or someone says something to you and you get really defensive and maybe later you had some clarity and you're like, oh, maybe they didn't mean the thing that I thought they meant, all right? Let's talk about it down in the comments below and provide each other with some support okay but that's all I got for you today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are new I'm always trying to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell and a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you are all amazing and if you would like to help me spread a message of hope when it comes to mental health go ahead and click on the little patreon icon right below you can start for as little as a dollar a month a dollar a month to help a guy spread a message of hope. Hope that's it. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Don't be defensive. I'll see you next time.